everybody. Here's some more sports back at you. Here. Um, so as I mentioned in my last video, I have not made um, a video in a long time. I've been kind of trying to find some time and energy for that. Um, but I've been ordering lots of stuff as always. And um, I actually have been sort of waiting to open these guys because I did want to make a video um, for these products, but was really eager to open them. So I had to wait till I found some time now to open these up. And I actually had three of these ordered, but I opened one and it was pretty cool. Um, so uh, what this is, is uh, a Tops On Demand product. So Tops um, On Demand is just um, kind of a, you know, line of products that uh, Tops offers um, uh, through their website. And basically they, um, have a product with a kind of specific focus or, or sort of design and they sell that and it's only available for a short period of time and you order it and then they basically go and print it and then you know a week or two later I think this looks like took like three weeks to get to me um, you know you get it they ship it out um, so this particular product was like a, a, a sort of prospects um, Bowman set that looks kind of like the 1955 Bowman design, which is that um, design that looks like a TV set, for those of you who are familiar with um, vintage Bowman. So anyways, I, I really like this because it's a Bowman product. I love Bowman stuff. And um, it's Prospects, which makes sense because Bowman is, you know, home of the rookie card, as they say. Um, so, you know, I like that. So a lot of good um, players in here. And there's, a, you know, a, a rookie card logo of some of the top guys from this year, like um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., um, Eloy Jimenez, and um, okay, one other guy who I'm forgetting. Well, we'll see him. So I think what you get is a, is a set of these, complete set. And then um, you get like, I think one autograph per box. So, you know, it's gonna be a prospect because that's kind of all there is in this set. Um, so, as you can see there's like this seal. So we'll cut into this little wrapper or this uh, tape here. Actually, figure out where that seal is. Oh, it's down here. So, um, the autograph I got in the first one, well, is this guy named uh, Keston Hiura, um, and he's the number one prospect, um, for the, uh, for the Brewers, and, um, he recently got called up. That card did not have the rookie card logo on it, though, because the stuff was printed before, um, at least designed before. He got called up, so it did not have the rookie card logo on it. But anyways, it's, it's a pretty cool card because you know he's a good he's a good prospect. Might have a good career. I don't know how he's doing so far in the majors. I don't think he's doing anything too nuts. But um, yeah, so this is a complete set. So the first card is going to be card number one, and that's uh, none other than Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So I'm gonna be very careful. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll take a look. See, the first one I got was um, very nicely centered, so I might consider grading that. I've been, um, I've never uh, really um, graded cards before. And and by the way, if you're a, if you're an avid card collector, you probably know there's a whole lot of uh, uh, noise going on right now around some kind of scandals in the sports card industry with grading and with certain resellers of cards and people um, being accused of uh, basically trimming cards and you know altering them and then um, selling them so that's not very centered um, so I'm just gonna throw that with the rest of my oh wow we got a doozy kids we got a doozy 
with that with the rest of my um, kind of Vladimir cards. So as you can see, we have landed a fantastic hit, um, which is I'm just clipping a corner on a top loader here so that it's uh, not gonna damage the card when I put it in. Um, so this is a fantastic looking uh, number to 50 Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Um, autograph rookie card. What can you say? I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Um, geez, I'm trying to think if uh, that's my only autographed Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The condition is not super great, and with the dark borders, this stuff is uh, very prone to shipping. And of course, this is a um, this is a, a stickered autograph, so not that cool, but you can't go wrong with a number to 50 um, Vladdy rookie card. That is super cool stuff. And then um, this appears to be uh, kind of a subset um, rookie debuts. Yeah, because I didn't get one of these in... Um, the first box that I opened, so that seems to be not something that comes in every set. Um, so in every uh, set, there's also a numbered card, and the um, the one I got in the prior. I can't tell if it's a printing thing or what that is, but the one I got in the other um, box that I opened uh, was Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and that was numbered to 50. Um, here is uh, Pete Alonso. Who is, uh, or at least I'm not sure how he's doing it immediately, but was having a really good year. And there's um, there's a rookie card, rookie card logo of uh, Eloy Jimenez. Of course, one of the top rated prospects in the game. Oh, this is the other guy I was trying to remember. Fernando Tatis Jr. Also, extremely highly touted prospect has made his debut. And then this is uh, Wander Franco, who is probably the number one overall prospect, although he's very young. Um, in baseball, I would say number one rated in terms of hobby interest. People are pretty excited about him from a card collecting um, standpoint. Victor Robles. There's a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Boba he, uh He's actually on the um, Blue Jays team right now. He got called up not too long ago, so he and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. are rocking the um, Blue Jays, who have just uh, won two of their last games against the Yankees, which is very depressing for me, so I, um, I apologize if I'm not uh, as upbeat, perhaps, as I have been in the past, but I'm, I'm very sad <laughs> that the Yankees are losing to the Blue Jays, particularly because... Um, the Blue Jays have like one of the worst records around, certainly in the AL East. The Carolina Fout, good Twins prospect. There's a Kyle Tucker rookie. Sure, why not? I'll take that out. There's Brendan Rodgers, who I swear has been in the minors for like 50 years. Um, curious to see. That guy is called up anytime soon. There's uh, Justice Sheffield, former Yankee. Now with the Mariners, Brent McKay, the two-way uh, pitcher, first baseman star. Um, Hunter Green. I think he just, uh, I think he was having a good year and then he um, has to go in for uh, surgery, Tommy John surgery, I believe. So that's a bummer setback for him. Jonathan India, he's a pretty good, pretty good prospect. In uh, the 2018 draft class, there is a Stefan Floreal. Esteban, or Esteban, I don't know how he likes to say it. Loisica, Yankees um, rookie pitcher. There's uh, Victor 
Is that Victor Victor Mesa? Yeah, Victor Victor Mesa. Victor Victor Mesa. He's one of the top prospects in the 2019 draft or 2018 draft class. Um, uh, uh, Victor Mesa Jr. That's the brother of Victor Victor Mesa. So there's Keston here. He's the guy I got an autograph card of in my first box. Pull him out. Gore, good pitcher, but he's a pitcher, so we don't care about him. Um, okay, that's one box, and I gotta say, pretty exciting. Pretty much got the best card you can get. Um, I don't know if they if they did number uh, versions of these cards that were numbered less than 50, but um, if not, that's probably the best card you can get, unless they do a Wander Franco. I don't know if they do a Wander Franco. That would, that, would, that would definitely be more valuable. Um, so, one of the Topps brands that they've been doing for a long time is something called Topps Finest. And that's been coming out since like 1993, I think. So 2019 Tops Finest just came out today, June 5th, and I didn't really think I'd be interested at all in it. Um, I'm not sure I really am, <laughs> but I decided to order some of that. Um, wow, look at that scratch on that case. Hopefully that doesn't mean there's been some abuse of this thing. Um, so anyways, um, I don't know, so I've been reading a little bit about the top's finest from this year, and um, seems like there's some interesting stuff. It seems like there's some pretty good, a lot of good like veteran cards in there, like Ichiro and Nolan Ryan, and Mike Trout, Derek Jeter. So that could be fun. Um, I got enough of it that I got a case, so I'll probably open. I don't know. I'll just open it until I get something. Enough to maybe leave the rest on the shelf for a while, um, but that's the interesting thing about that Top's Finest 2018 Top's Finest is that it will have the first um, pack pack released um, uh, rookie logo cards of basically all these guys in this set, like um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, I like these. Uh, I like these things. They're good protection. Because otherwise, like this Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as the um, top card in the set would probably be beat to hell. Um, so that's a really nice. Well, it's a little bit off center, left to right, but pretty decent looking card there. And there's our autograph. Um, well, they put all the hits right at the beginning. Um, that's okay. Victor Robles, kind of interesting that he's like in this set because he was a rookie in 2018, I believe. Um, so he's not really a rookie. He's not a prospect. He's like a sophomore. Um, but I don't know. He's, he's a really good player, but he hasn't uh, kind of, you know, blown up just yet. He's been playing a little bit less than I think... Uh, less well than people had thought, so. Um, there's an interesting one, Bryce Harper, rookie debut. Um, that would have been a long time ago that he had a rookie debut, like 2012 or something like that. So, interesting. Oh, this is kind of a cool one. Um, cut the corner off this. Can I do that because um, it minimizes the risk that when you put this thing in a sleeve that you'll chip a corner or something like that, which can happen. So this is number 10, Beau Bichette. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet looking card. Um, yeah, pretty nice condition. Might be worth grading, I don't know. I just, I don't know what to grade, what not to grade these. Oh, I think I was about to 
to say, yeah, I, um, yeah, I, I started talking about this or controversy going on with like grading right now, and a lot of people think that it's a big scam, and there's a lot of shenanigans going on. And some people maybe get favoritism by the graders, blah blah blah, um, which you know I'm sure some of that is true, um, but. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, grading's a big part of the business right now, of the hobby, I should say. Um, I have never really um, sent stuff in to be graded, except a long time ago. One time I bought, um, one time I bought like a bunch of uh, um, vintage cards. It was actually like the first time I'd ever bought vintage cards, but there was like a guy who was just selling them like on Craigslist or something. And um, I was like, oh, okay, I'll take a look at those. So, you know, I had him, um, I had him, I met with him, and um, he showed me the cards, and you know, they were kind of, some of them were decent condition. Mostly, they were sort of like mid-range. Um, so yeah, I bought a bunch of them. I don't, I think I, I don't know, if I, I probably overpaid a bit because I wasn't like super knowledgeable about condition and sort of how much to you know discount from book price um, for that this was kind of like before eBay was a super common place to buy cards so I wasn't looking up values there um, so anyways I, I bought all these cards and I didn't you know I didn't really know if they were you know, trimmed or not trimmed, or if they were in good condition, you know, just how good a condition they were they PSA, you know, fours or were they PSA eights? I think at that point I had much less of an ability to tell these days. I could probably figure out pretty easily, but back then I didn't know. So anyways, I graded, I graded several of these cards, maybe 10 or 15 of them um, with uh, SGC, which is probably the least, um, favorite grading company right now just you know but this was like 10 or 15 years ago I did this and SGC was you know pretty well respected as particularly for vintage and they were definitely the most affordable so that's why I went with them so I got some cards that were pretty pretty nice grade um, you know like near mint kind of cards and that's my own that's been my only experience with grading um, in my life so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna maybe try to send some stuff. It's funny I decided to do this. You know, right as this controversy is kind of blowing up. Although I actually decided to do some grading um, maybe about a month or two ago, and that was before this kind of controversy stuff was going on. So, anyway, so I signed up. Um, I decided to sign up for PSA. Um, and if you do that, you get like. Uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 cards graded as part of your membership and then you get like a subscription to their magazine and you have the ability to do bulk orders which is like 200 cards I think you gotta send which is kinda nuts cause it's like 8 bucks a card so it's like $1600 you gotta spend on grading but you know if you have that many cards that might get good grades it's probably worth it so anyways um so I have my free grading available, and I've just been kind of, you know, thinking about what to send in, um, and gathering that up. And uh, someday soon I will get that figured out and sent in. And then I guess I kind of see how I do it, sort of picking, you know, good. I have a pretty good eye, I think for things like corners and surface and uh, I think I can determine like centering quality really well. Um, so, so we shall see what happens there. Um, well there you have your uh, Tops On Demand 1955 Bowman sets um so pretty cool stuff um again this 
this is one of the very first cards. There's some tops now cards where Vladimir has a rookie card logo, but other than that, this is like the, you know, sort of first rookie card logo um, product for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Not, um, not pack released, of course, but um, still kind of cool, especially if you're a Bowman fan like me, so um, so this one's pretty exciting, this autograph, this is I'm pretty sure my only, my first and only Guerrero Jr. autograph. I, I've had one Acuna in my life. Oh, actually, no, I've had two Acunas, and I actually currently have an Acuna. Um, let me see, actually, if I can show you that one. something they might have been a little bit more than that but I definitely think I, I did well um, with that Guerrero jr. the Robles and eh, not so much that's maybe like a $20 card I imagine but if he does well you know and he's got the, the potential to, to do that so you know I'll just hang on to that one I actually was thinking about getting more Victor Robles um, actually you know what I think that name I've heard it pronounced Robles um, so I don't know how to pronounce my apologies to anybody who knows and is offended by my mispronunciation, but I've heard Robles and I've heard, um, Roble. but, um, anyways, I was going to pick up some of him before the beginning of the year because I think he's got some good potential. So, his cards are pretty cheap right now, I think, since he hasn't broken out yet. So anyways, there you have, there's your tops on demand um, sets. That was pretty cool. I might consider ordering some of these sets again, but I'm not sure. I got a lot of stuff coming. I got a lot of, I got a lot of pre-orders that I made. I got, I got tops, um, 2019 tops series two, um, which is going to have most likely a Vladimir Kerr Jr. Um, tops flagship rookie card in it. Um, I got, uh, after that, I guess there's a little bit of a break, but then I've got, um, some Bowman Chrome ordered. I got a bunch of that stuff ordered. And then there's Bowman, uh, Sterling, um, coming out, which I hope to get a bunch of. Um, yeah, we'll see. We will see. All right, well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll catch y'all later. Have a great one. Bye.